Hey guys, dear viewers, on our daily program, on the televisions and on the YouTube, uh, Family Foundations, uh, Grace Cow is my name, I'm a pastor, my people ministries, I thank all of you who have been following me all that days. Uh, like today, uh, we are going to talk about family once again, and uh, I have with me uh, the servants of God, the seniors in marriage, they are going to introduce themselves and how long they have taken time in ministry. Uh, Dr. Kaore, welcome. Thank you. Your name, introduce the... My name is Patrice Kabore. I'm married uh, to Linda Kabore and we have four children. How long have you been married? We've been married for 26 years. 26 years, that's a, a God is genuine. Uh, let me invite Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Peter. Can you introduce yourself to the viewers? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, my name is Peter Wilcox. Uh, I'm from Australia at the moment serving in Mozambique. Uh, I am married to Debbie Wilcox. Uh, we have seven children and we have been married for almost 40 years. What? 40 years? Yes. Wow. Now, guys, I have God is generous <laughs> in a marriage. Uh, the time I spend in the ministry, there is so a lot of misunderstandings about pastors and their spouses. Uh, pastors and their children. Uh, in a few minutes, I want you to take, you tell your friends to come so quickly and listen to what uh, the servants of God are saying. It's not so easy to spend all that 20 years in marriage, 40 years in marriage. These are God is generous and the professors, they are, uh, they are, they are right people to talk to. Uh, Pastor Kabong, Kabore, yes. uh, there is a lot of misunderstandings between pastors and their spouses and their wives. Tell us the correlation between ministry and pastor's wives. Uh, first of all, I thank you for the question. Uh, it's God himself who said, it's not good for men to be alone. Amen. Amen. So that doesn't give us permission to be alone, even in ministry. Yes. And he gave us uh, someone who's close to us, who knows us, who can get to us, who can speak to us, Hallelujah. and who can counsel us. Sometimes they say things that might be so true you mean wives true. yeah wives wow. <laughs> and that can hurt but if we listen i think we have a better ministry god can truly shape our hearts using our spouses uh, there is something you've been telling me about uh, uh Bebraham and his wife being his uh, is a gogo tell us about that it's amazing for people to hear <laughs> well i i just follow I, i'm interested in billy graham in his ministry yeah. he has impacted my life and even the life of my parents i have books my father had of him and so uh, i uh, i listened to him on an interview in the radio and he was describing how his wife uh, would be searching the commentaries and the Bible references as he's preparing for his messages. So I think in his time he didn't have Google, but his wife was his Google. Wow. <laughs> helping him to, uh, to be the face, to be the voice of wow. God for the nations. Pastor Peter, tell us the importance of our wives into ministry. Can a wife hinder the growth of your ministry, really? Actually, the Lord said to Adam, that Eve was going to be his ideal helper. <laughs> wow. and, uh, and so if I am on my own in ministry, I am lacking a very, very important helper in my life. Wow. And actually God has gifted women with a very different sense of perception yes. of life and relationship. And uh, Debbie actually is a uh, very absolutely necessary in our ministry wow. because she brings uh, a, a prophetic voice yes. in our ministry and also she senses a lot of things that I don't sense and, and so I give her freedom to speak into my life and also to walk together in, in the ministry. Um, we, I don't do anything without doing things with her. Wow everything we're in agreement that's amazing uh, so viewers of family foundations you can see what god can do uh, you are hearing this wisdom i want to request you please share with your friends because family and business family and success this is the last question to pastor kawari then pastor peter uh, pastor uh, i have anointing i am anointed god is moving power miracles are happening uh, do I need my family, Didi? Uh, talk about family and business and ministry. 
Uh, family is important because it's where we begin to be to minister first in our family yeah. before we can minister outside the family. So you mean family is our first charge? Yes. Wow. Yes. Uh, and the anointing God gives us is just a gift, a tool to use. Mm. We still have to have relationship with the giver, which is who is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is interested in bearing and producing fruit in us, mm, mm, mm. which our family need to be enjoy the fruit of the Spirit <laughs> in us wow. before we can export it outside. Mm -hmm. wow. and I, I think it's family is important in the ministry. Pastor Peter, family and ministry are uh, wow. Is the family so important than my ministry? The family is absolutely important. Uh, God created family, okay. and God places lonely people in families, as the Word of God says. And um, the anointing that we receive is actually the anointing to bring people into relationship. Wow. Not wow. to make myself great, Yes. Okay. not to have a pedestal or a platform, but actually to bring people to God and to bring people together. And family is the nucleus of that relationship where I learn how to relate with one another and how I can relate to other people mm, and mm. how I can relate to God. Wow. And the ministry we receive through the anointing is the ministry of reconciliation. Wow. Amen. Uh, viewers of Family Foundation, thank you so much for taking your time. I'm going to request the servants of God to pray for our families, to pray for our children, pray for our spouses. Uh, can you release a blessing? Yes. Our Heavenly Father, we thank yes, you. Lord. Uh, that you created marriage mm. and marriage is the image of Christ with the church and we don't want to have a dysfunctional marriage yes Lord. I know there's a lot of things the world is throwing at us yes Lord. but we pray for grace mm. for families we pray for grace mm. for the church yeah for the pastors Hallelujah. that togetherness togetherness will be the model we will show to the world yes that if we come together to agree concerning anything mm. it will be done by our Heavenly Father so <laughs> help us to agree <laughs> with one <laughs> another <laughs> in prayer Yes, help Lord. us to agree in ministry. Yes, Lord. Help us to agree in strategizing in, in ministry. Lord. Father, I pray it's a divine favor that you yes, release Lord. upon ministers, mm. uh, those who are working hard and don't have time, that you give them grace yes. to have time, mm. to have time in their families. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for all watching. We are still on every day, every Monday. You remember from the foundations on UBC and on YouTube and My People Ministries. God bless you so much. Can't wait to see you next week. God bless you. God bless you. Wow.